Bonjour, bonjour. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite subject, which is uh, sunscreen. And this video is dedicated for those of you who have a uh, darker skin tone. So basically, all the sunscreen that I'm going to show you have zero white cast. And I've been wanting to film this video for um, a very long time, but I wanted to have um, one of my friends to show you all the swatches of those uh, sunscreen, also the finish on the skin, and it, and it does have a, a beautiful uh, dark skin. Also, it is not because you have dark skin tone that it means that you should not use a daily sunscreen. Unfortunately, like everyone's, even though you are more protecting than someone like me who has first skin tone, you will still have damage from uh, the sun and it is of utmost importance to protect your skin from the UV, especially on a daily uh, basis. One of the main problems with aging when you have a darker skin tone is, again, uh, any form of discoloration and hyperpigmentation and they are not easy. Uh, to treat and also something that you uh, can find quite often is to have some area of your face that will be darker usually it is the forehead one way obviously to prevent this is to use a good uh, sunscreen and i know that a lot of men doesn't have any options for darker skin tone which is an absolute shame especially from a bigger brand, it is important that every single one of us can find our own sunscreen that we really love Obviously, whatever your skin tone, I only recommend SPF 50 plus, PA rating of 4 plus is if it is an Asian uh, sunscreen, or with the highest possible UVA protection. The less UV is going to impact your skin, whatever your skin color is, the better, especially in the long run in terms of the aging uh, process. I cannot emphasize this enough but sunscreen are really the real anti-aging treatment that we currently uh, have and you will thank me in 10 and uh, 20 years. So the first sunscreen that I'm going to show you are uh, Asian sunscreen. So the first one is from the brand Crave Beauty, founded by uh, Lia Liu. She's a very famous uh, YouTuber and all uh, products are made in South Korea and she also sold them in the United States and she has especially one sunscreen, this one. So in uh, America, this is named the Beat Shield in the United States because the filters are the new generation filters. Therefore, she cannot assault it as a proper sunscreen, but this one is the exact same formula than the one that you find in uh, South Korea, which is Beat the Sun. So this is an SPF of 50 plus with a PA rating of four pluses. The texture is very lovely. This is um, a milk that turned into a lotion. This is quite moisturizing. This is not drying at all. If you are taking any uh, treatments, I'm thinking about acne treatment, for example, that are quite harsh. If you are doing any uh, strong peelings, if you have a rosacea prone or you have an um, eczema, this one won't be for you because uh, it contains alcohol. Also, what I love about this is that if you live in the United States, you can benefits from those amazing filters, especially the Tinos of S, so this one is a great. So the next one is a new discovery. I got this one while I was on vacation in Taiwan. This is from the Korean brand Innisfree. This is the Daily Mind Sunscreen SPF 50 plus peer rating of 4 pluses. So this one is a light cream that turns into a sort of milk. It is very pleasant. It also feels a pretty lightweight. What I love about this sunscreen is that it only contains three filters. Uvinyl T150, which is a UVB absorbent. Uvinyl A+, which is a UVA absorbent. And also Tinozop S, which is a broad spectrum organic filters. Why I love it so much is because if you are sensitive to organic filters and they tend to break you out and etc., this one could be a great option for this. So the next two are this one from Clarice. This is the Softery UV Essence SPF 50 plus peer rating of 4 pluses, and also the um, uh, Purito the Santella Green Level and Scented Sun again SPF 50 plus peer rating of 4 pluses. So those ones in terms, I would say, of elegance really don't feel like a sunscreen. They are very different from what we currently have in the market simply because they really feel like an excellent moisturizer. And also because they contain only two filters, Uvenol T150 and Uvenol A+. They are also pretty suitable if you tend to be sensitive to some organic filters. Keep in mind that probably the coverage of the spectrum is not excellent, especially in the UVA type 2 uh, 
uh, department because Juvenal A plus absorb a little bit in the UV A type 2 and Juvenal T150, so the other filters also absorb a little bit. So this is not optimal, but the texture and the finish is excellent. And if you have super dark skin tone, those one would be uh, perfectly suitable for you. I also like to recommend this one because if you have someone who really loves uh, makeup and you don't want to have a sunscreen that can interact with them, those two are a great um, option. And like I said, the texture is um, mind-blowing. So the next one is uh, the sunscreen that I'm currently uh, using. This is this one, the Ines 3, the Aqua Water Drop Sunscreen. So it does have this very, I would say, watery feeling, but it is uh, still quite greasy. This is not horrendous, but it is uh, shiny. It works uh, pretty good under makeup. So definitely if you have drier skin tone, but you, but you do want this, uh, I would say, watery texture, this one also is a good option. It does contain perfume, so just keep this um, in mind. So now let's move on to Japanese uh, sunscreen. So the first one that I want to show you also contains a beautiful active ingredient, which is tranexamic acid, which is an analog of an amino acid, which is lysine. And this ingredient is excellent to fight by uh, hyperpigmentation, and this is why I wanted to show it to you today. So this is the Anessa, the whitening UV sunscreen gel SPF 50 plus peer rating of four uh, plus so like I said what I really love about this one is the fact that it does contain tranexamic acid so in addition to having uh, a good sunscreen with good filters you can also treat hyperpigmentation and what is excellent with tranexamic acid is that you can combine it when you are using a strong uh, retinoids but also strong acid and etc to try to correct the hyperpigmentation Tranexamic acid is not an active that will irritate uh, your skin. Keep in mind that this one does contain alcohol, so be mindful about that. Like I said, if you have an impairment of the skin barrier, this one won't be for you. Also, if you are currently under treatment with your dermatologist, always uh, ask them if it is safe to use an alcohol-based uh, sunscreen because it might burn your skin. So the second one is also a recent uh, discovery and I have to say this is probably one of my favorite from all of them because first of all the UV filters combination is simply mind-blowing. Also all the filters are encapsulated therefore they are not in direct contact with the skin which is something very interesting especially if you tend to react to organic filters probably with this one you won't. Uh, the overall texture is simply magnificent. It is a beautiful gel cream that really turns into this uh, watery lotion. It feels also very fresh on the skin because of the high content of uh, water, but it also contains alcohol and perfume. So again, if you are sensitive to alcohol, um, don't use this one. The finish also on the skin is simply beautiful because this is a normal finish. This is not overly matte, but this is also not uh, shiny or dewy, and it is an excellent makeup uh, base. And this is this one from the Japanese uh, brand Bure. This is one of their most recent addition. This is the Athleism Skin Protect S and the SPF 50 plus PA rating of 4. Pluses. Be careful because uh, the athleism also exists in um, a gel which is more actually uh, a milk and this one does contain zinc oxide and it does have uh, a white cast. It is pretty minimal on my fair skin tone but it won't be suitable for darker skin um, tone. So definitely this one I highly recommend it. So the next one is also from Biore. This is the UV Water Essence SPF 50 plus peer rating of 4. Um, pluses. So this one is a bit reminiscent from the athleism that I've just uh, showed you, but I have to say that I prefer the finish of this one over uh, this one. Be careful because with this one I do find it a little bit more um, drying, I would say, than this one. You can definitely uh, feel more the alcohol content in this one than in uh, this one. I don't have any explanation for it, but I just put it out here. Also, the finish of this one is, I would say, more dewy, while this one is, uh, I find, much uh, better. Still, it is um, a good option if you don't have any impairment of your skin barrier and you are looking for something that is very like uh, a gem that is very uh, watery, this is the one to go. So the last three that I want to show you are uh, European sunscreen. They are actually French 
sunscreen. So what I love about uh, European sunscreen, just in terms of protection, is that the European regulation is probably one of the strictest in the world. Also with the Australian uh, regulation, they are probably uh, very si similar. And one of the main requirements for every sunscreen is that the UVA protection has to be indexed to the SPF, which means that the higher the SPF is, the higher the UVA protection will be. Therefore, every SPF 50 plus will have a minimum of a protection of 20 in terms of UVA protection, which is really something that you do want, especially when you want to slow down the process of uh, aging. Of course, in general, it also goes with uh, sunscreen that are definitely, uh, I would say, less uh, elegant and less pleasing to use, but you can use those one when you know that you will be exposed to a lot of sun. Um, to give you uh, some example, you are traveling, you are outside all day long. This is definitely the sunscreen that I would recommend. You are on the beach simply, so exposed again to a lot of sun. Those sunscreen are key and will really uh, help you to shield your skin from the harmful UV. Obviously, in those situations, don't forget to wear a hat, big sun um, glasses, and also a clothes to protect your skin from uh, the sun. So the first one is a stick from SVR. This is the Sun Secure, the Easy Stick SPF 50 Plus. So what I love about this one is that it has a mind-blowing UV filters. I mean, the combination in this one is simply amazing. At the same time, it's also avoid some um, of sunscreen that could be problematic for certain skin type, such as octocrylene, for example, because there are reports that some people are allergic to uh, octocrylene and could be simply uh, sensitive to them. It is 100% transparent and it is also excellent simply to use on uh, your lips. And this is not, I would say, overly greasy. I have one disclaimer about this one, is that when it is really hot, uh, the stick tends to crumble a little bit, so be careful to not um, twist it too much. So the next one I have already talked about on one of my videos about the CK Bio line from Bioderma, it is this one. This one, especially if you have traveling in France or you simply live in France, it is very inexpensive. This is the CK Bio, the SPF 50 plus. So this one is uh, a cream that is pretty pleasant to use, but it is um, pretty, I would say, uh, greasy, so definitely if you have dry skin tone, this one would be uh, for you. If you don't have dry skin, uh, you will probably need to use powder. Also be careful around your eyes because this one does tends to burn the eye um, area, but it is still an excellent uh, sunscreen to consider if you have hyperpigmentation in your skin. The last one that I want to show you is this one from La Roche-Posay. I have a full in-depth review of this bad boy here. This is the Antelio the Ultra, the non-perfume cream. And oh my God, this one is probably one of the best that I know. It has uh, a UVA protection of 36, so it is even higher than the one that is um, recommended. The texture also, it is not overly greasy, which is something that I really like about this one. It does contain a little bit of alcohol. I don't know the exact uh, concentration. You don't, uh, I don't really feel it on my skin and I'm quite sensitive to alcohol but again like i've told you you have rosacea you have uh, eczema a lot of acne this one will be uh, for you for sure or simply impair skin barrier for whatever reasons don't shoot this one but um if you don't i think you will really enjoy this one last but not least don't forget to apply enough sunscreen again if you decrease the amount of sunscreen that you are going to apply, you will decrease the protection, which is definitely something that you do not want. The minimum amount that you need for your face is one fourth of a teaspoon, which basically corresponds to 1.2 uh, milligrams or 1.2 uh, ml roughly. If you want to have, I would say, a more accurate measurement and to exactly know how much you need, I do have a video for this, which is a pretty, I would say, easy method to know how much sunscreen you do need to uh, coat your face. In my case, I do need a little less than uh, the recommended uh, amount, and this can definitely help you. Um, because if you have a smaller face, if you can apply a little bit less than the one fourth of a teaspoon, uh, it will be also uh, easier for you. So I invite you to check this uh, video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I have a lot of stuff over there. 
And I thank you so, so much for watching me and I will see you next time. Au revoir everyone, bye bye.